Unbeaten in 26, the Philadelphians made steady progress and is coping with the pressure of being the nephew of a modern legend. See former world super featherweight champion Steve Forbes, who's coming off an excellent run in the popular contender series. Forbes seems rejuvenated. Forbes, who spent enough time in Vegas. He was probably born to box. He's at his round TJ Day. Position with four defeat victories, including 10 KOs, he has won. Tender series. Half step back, banged with a jab. No, come on. We should have quality. Both very serious about the business. First impressions, he's very quick. A fighter ready to pounce. He just waits for the jab. Working. To me, he has. Over the... Yeah, well, he's just drawn him on to the left hand. So he's quite happy just to stay in hunters. So, see if he can put a stop to it. Plenty of a champion. At nine stone four, remember, four. A couple of those little left hooks have looked quite tasty. Good body shot. From the Philadelphian. Forbes looking to get into his body. Dealing with it well. He's lost four times. Right, when you're facing a guy who has all the physical advantages and who's good at using them and he knows how to use long range left hook and the range in it. But the problem is that Hopkins is such a big and gangly like Welterman. Has to take a left hook there, short and sharp from Forbes. That'll give him a bit of confidence. Well, I think this is what Forbes is going to have to do. I mean, he's a good pro, he's trying to get close. He's trying to, try to, to get out some better ones in his own. This is better. Yeah, right hand also looking for the uppercut. Steve Forbes, back comes Hopkins. We thought this might be a nip and tuck affair, but they've got down to it. Strength to put Hopkins under a bit of pressure, and he's managing to do that. Good body shot. Of Hopkins, if Forbes can keep this pressure going. Good action here in the second round. The first time Hopkins, a kind of concerned look on his face, responding well. But this is not what he had planned. And he scored nine knockouts, Forbes. But he has drilled. Troy finished off in Vegas. Good left to the liver from Forbes. And round showed signs of improvement in a big way, Jim. Yeah, I think maybe he caught Hopkins. Moving out, just expecting to pick up where he left off. But this is a real good, solid proof. Steve Forbes might have to endure a few bumps and bruises as he tried. Trying to whip that left hook round Hopkins. Trying to show he has the speed and the technical ability. But when the combinations get through from Forbes, it just looks a bit rattled, Hopkins. Yeah, but the one thing I did like, this is not the kind of fight I'm sure that he's can't have planned. Junior Witters, WBC title at the end of last year. That didn't happen, but he's ranked right up there. Gritty enough because he's taken these shots and coming right back. Giving pretty much as good as he's getting, but again, Forbes looking that bit more positive. Good work from Steve Forbes. As he moves inside, looking for body shots. Just denying him the space. He's drawn him into his kind of fight. And this could be the telling point so early in the fight. Lovely left hook to the head and then to the body. When in for Forbes. Back comes Hopkins. Gritty showing his heart. But he's never been under this sort of pressure in this sort of company. They're slightly concerned in there. He's had pretty much everything his own way, Hopkins, so far in his career. Yeah, but that's a big problem. He's never really had to stand and trade the way Forbes is making them do so now. I mean, I think... And a boxing match that it has really started at a cracking from the last couple of rounds because Forbes is very strong and he has the experience and the maturity. So I wonder... Wasn't when he beat John Brown. Steve Forbes. And there's a really positive sense from Forbes at the press conference this week. Yeah, well, he's every right to be happy at the moment because Hopkins into Hopkins responding very well, full credit to it. But I don't think he's enjoying it. But he's uh, having to meet Forbes. See, he's beginning now to find out what fighting at the top level is all about. As I say, I keep saying he's responding well and he's finding it really tough. 
got a lot of snap on his punches anymore. He was stopping from his tracks, and his body shots are not helping either. Another round, but it's not much to split between punches land. That little bit more like he's the one in the driving seat. The experience and the intelligence there from Steve Forbes. Listening to his corner. And Hopkins again looks for Brad. This is becoming a struggle for Dimitri. Asking, is he strong enough for this? It's been 12 rounds with Mario Ramos and Roger Forbes. Well, he admitted himself he would find out if he could do this against a there is class you don't be unbeaten in 26 if you can't can he fight can he draw it all out Let's get his punches off get out of there with Forbes that's his game yeah. Bernard Hopkins was say well he's shown a bit of character already I'll give him credit for that and I don't think Forbes is quite so accurate in this round this is better for him shot of his own did this come down to conditioning, to stamina as well? Yeah, but I think strength and maturity may be what it comes down to. It doesn't look all that. Obviously, he does have to grind that body at 5 foot 11. Turned, but still finding it a massive struggle. Left up from Forbes at the end of that. The white and red and the... Thing. So, I don't know if that's significant or not, but him up. Wonder what he was complaining about. Six, it will be Forbes' fight. Yeah, in Vegas. I mean, they've both put an awful lot into this thing, see, so we we'll have to expect the pace to slow a little bit. Absolutely, if he can get back behind the jab, keep those up, and again he goes back, Hopkins, and gives out a look to Forbes. But that was inexperienced. Kenny Bailey's warns him for a low punch, and he looks at Kenny for arm punches at the moment. Good body shot again from Ford. Arm punches from Hopkins. Putting this out so far. Body shots from Forbes. Body of Hopkins. Well, Forbes no doubt feels that Hopkins is weakening a little bit up close. That's a good time to go to the body because if you're losing a little bit of heart, body shots landing just knocks it right out of you. Side, alongside Sugar Shane Mo get back into contention. Good start to this session from Hopkins. But they've never stopped from the first bail. I expected about quite the opposite. Boxing can always surprise. Dispirited. To that left of the body. Hopkins fell that one. Yes, more breath from Hopkins as he steps back there. Forbes targeting that midriff, that area of Hopkins, who's feeling these body shots. And when he's tiring a little bit, I think his own defences are a little bit more nicky. Can't get full credit to him. A few different boxes tonight, Hopkins, like the heart and character department. But has Forbes and his... Just that constant presence that can grind you down. Another good shot from Forbes. Right to the top of the head, Forbes has, and is that just the difference between them? Good jab from Hopkins. But what he needs, he needs a good jab, then he has to get himself out there, he needs a couple of good solid shots, then use the ring again, doesn't want to be standing there. Although, the fans are not complaining. Absolutely not. Really good one, hand speed there of Steve Forbes. Pressed for the quality. And Paul, as you just said, Adam, from Las Vegas. See what the judges say. Battles in the ring as well. And using all that know-how and experience to try and... Now Hopkins with body shots. Getting it too. Yeah, well, I don't expect he's trained for this kind of thing. He didn't expect it. Remember with someone like Ricky Hatton throwing body shots with him and showing he can fight as well as box. Oh, Hopkins here making a miss. He's really he's good. The opposite to what I expected. I think we'll have to give uh, Forbes most of the credit for that. 
because he's forced it to be this kind of fight. Has not stopped. I think Hopkins has had a big effort in this round to get himself back into the pit. Demetrius Hopkins, white and red. The unbeaten Philadelphian, Steve Forbes, who's won 32 more times in his career. Now at the start of this round, he's tried to widen his stance a little bit, stand his ground and get some into the jab. I wonder, is this him getting... See, his feet have been too close together, he's been pushed back. Let's to change what's happening here. Just hearing at ringside that our America, just like you, Jim. I think he's setting to throw the punch and expected to do. And out of range, wild there, Forbes. And just being picked off by Hopkins. I tell you, there's been an improvement in the overall look of Hopkins in this round. As I say, he spread his legs a little bit further. As though he wants to meet Hopkins uh, head on in his tracks. He's telling me you still can't pick a definitive winner at this you can, can you? No, but I have uh, Forbes two, two points up at the moment. Very well in this round. If they can keep it going, we'll see if they can, if they can sustain it. Good effort from Demetrius Hopkins here. Trying to get Forbes to the body. See, in the last minute, Forbes is forced to back into his style of fighting. Yeah, but you expect that in a tough fight, the last minute. Obviously, you don't have the spring in the legs. Has that experience touches eye late on in the round. But this one's been Hopkins' session. He's done well. Yep, and he's still answering every punch that Forbes throws. He's answering it. Clash, USPA title at stake. Could have been for sight. And a learning one for Demetrius Hopkins. But who... Was that more snap? And who... You may not have heard too much about it because he's been brought up from Forbes here who's giving him Hopkins his first real no knockdowns really any Bayless to do just watch them go at it well it's amazing how many rounds we've had like this but it's almost between the amount of punches thrown and landed and many of these rounds have been very close who knows? Yeah. But again, he's really pushing it out here, Hopkins. Yep, and I'm just slightly slaying towards the quality of his punches in this round. Another round when this, all his punches looked at that little bit more quality. He do it, but he's got himself right back into the fight. And now, not much more than a sir, yeah. but he's uh, got himself into terrific shape, Forbes. Oh. and tough enough for this business signs up yet may not have been tactically way through and made an impression doing a little bit of holding at the moment uh, whereas Forbes is protected so many clean punches from these two light welterweights and maintained throughout the, the almost 11 rounds we've seen but just again looks to me like Forbes is digging in that little bit deeper. Hopkins Forbes will test whether Hopkins is a uh, dread battle. And that's what it's been. Combinations from Hopkins have looked classy. Look at that from Hopkins. The work rate from Forbes. Smiles as they touch gloves. Does Hopkins need this final round? He does on Jim's card. We don't know. Now they're joining these unofficial and Hoy fighter. So much these two have uh, thrown into it. Win or lose, we have to say that Hopkins is getting himself up towards world class. I wonder would be that look. He's done it so well. But in a strange way, is this the fight that might make Demetrius Hopkins? Because he's losing it. As I say, he's shown all the qualities you want to see in a young man. Forbes. And finishing these last couple of rounds well. 
Again, he, he just gives the impression Forbes. Just pumping the push there. Usually that is the way the judges sway. 30 with his sort of career. You've got to take them. And maybe Here comes Hopkins at the end. Yeah. They have not stopped. And they're going to get plenty of applause when the final bell goes. Oh, I'll tell you what, we could see many more rounds of that. Unanimous decision. Still undefeated. Still USBA champion from 